Hi, Siri. Greetings, Johnny. Hey, what's going on, guys? Eat my apples here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install a fully working Siri on your iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 3GS, any device, uh, you know, that isn't the iPhone 4. I'm going to be showing you how to get Siri on that device. So, first what you're going to do is go ahead and open up Cydia. And we'll head over into the search bar. And the first thing you want to download is Spire. So you'll see I've got Spire installed already. You'll just download Spire. And then once you've got Spire installed, the next thing you're going to want to install is Assistant Connect or Assistant Server Installer. Uh, you can get this from the iHacks repo. The source for iHacks repo is just iHacksRepo.com. I'll throw that down there in the description or overlay in the video somewhere here. So you guys can go ahead and add that source and uh, download Assistant Server Installer. So once you guys have Assistant Server and Spire installed, you're going to just head out of Cydia. And we'll head over into Settings. And in Settings, we'll find Spire. So we'll just head into Spire first. And you're going to add the proxy host, local host, semicolon, 4443. I'll also put that over the video and in the description so you guys can uh, check that out better. Uh, so that's what you're going to want to add for the proxy host Inspire. So once you've got that set up Inspire, head over into Siri Server. And you'll see the first option is Install Certificate. So you just want to go ahead and click on Install Certificate. I've already got mine installed. But once you click on that, it'll take you over into Safari and then back into your settings and you'll just click install. Don't worry if it says it's not a trusted server source or anything like that. Uh, it's not harmful to your device at all. So you don't have to worry about that. And you'll just go ahead and click install. So once you've got that installed, you'll see all these blanks down here. You don't have to fill that out. It's just for customizing your Siri uh, if you add any personalized stuff or like extra stuff to it. So basically, once you've got all of that installed, your Siri should be ready to go, but the only main thing that you want to make sure of is in your actual Siri settings, on your settings, uh, general settings page, you're going to want to make sure that your Siri is set to English uh, United States. If it's not, it will not work correctly, it will not function correctly, so you got to make sure it's set for the United States English. Alright guys, so that is it. That is how to install Siri on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch, 4th generation, etc. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if this helped you. If you need any help, just leave me a comment. And uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.